2012. And uh, is this a new series of TVs? Yeah, everything that we see here today will be available this spring. So none of it is in production quite yet, um, but we will be seeing it all this spring. Right here we have our seven series TV, um, which we have an eight series above it and then a six series below it. So the seven series is probably one of our most popular the with the is super thin big. bezel. I think, yep. I think it's a little bit too big. It's a little bit too big. Why huh? don't you make it a little bit smaller? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think that's a pretty I mean, good one. This yeah. is just glass, no? It is just glass. It's for looks. It'll actually the, the cool thing about it is when you put it on your wall, it kind of brings in the color of your wall, so it kind of gives that blend in. But um, why do you put glass here? I don't get it. You want to make it thin. You could make it even thinner there, right? In yeah, we probably could. All right. So. 240 hertz, is yep. that what it is? Yep, 240 hertz, uh, micro dimming plus, which is going to take in, uh, enhance your black levels and contrast levels and things like that. This one is two? Yep. So you have TV. 46, yep. 55, 56, 55, 60. That's it? Small? Now, yeah. there, there may be more come out when it comes into production, but for now this is it. And here, what is that? Uh, we have our 6 series, um, ranging from our what you see here is our 6600, which has the better speakers, a front firing speaker, which is one thing that we improved on from last year. We didn't have a spe uh, TV last year that had a front firing speaker, so for that customer that doesn't want to buy any extra sound equipment, this is an excellent option for them. Also 3D, also has our basic micro dimming technology in it, um, and then down the line our 6500 series, which is uh, no micro dimming, but still has 3D, still has all of our smart internet features on it. Does that mean there's a different processor to do double the amount of hertz? Uh, no, it, the, the 6 series is still going to be 120 hertz. But uh, how, how do you, there's, over there there's 240, so yep. what's yep, the difference? Uh, yeah, is it new much, CPU? What much higher inside? quality, yeah, basically better computer chip, better CPU inside, um, leads to better video processing, creating extra basically frames, double. smoothing motion. Yep. Uh, even more than double? Uh, doubling. Yeah, yep, doubling. 120. So yep. is that doubling the price or not really? No, not even close. Not even yeah, close. We don't know prices on these exact models quite yet, um, but in production right now, you can go into a store, um, you're usually about a two, three hundred dollar difference to go up to the 240. So there's 55, uh, what is this? 40 something? 46. Yep. 46. What is this? Uh, size? That, that size is. Yeah, 65. 65 inch. Whoa. Yep. Over there we have our 75 inch in the 8000 series, our top of the line. 8000 is. Is it plasma or? Um, we have an 8000 series plasma as well as an 8000 series LED. Um, we do still manufacture both because some customers like the plasma, some customers like the LED. We so, give you both options. What are all these? These are LED. LED LCDs? Yes. And uh, the price for 55 inch is gonna be? We don't know yet. Because I, I went to Costco's and there's a 55 inch for $899. Yep. $899. It's, it's getting so affordable. Everybody should get a 55. Yeah, that's right. I agree. Yeah, they, we, we make a lot of different lines, a lot of different models. So you will have a, a model for everybody. We'll have our high end 8000 down to our more basic but still excellent quality 6000 models. This is probably gonna be a little bit expensive, no? 65s definitely are going to be a little bit more, still fairly affordable now that they're bringing them down to the 60 or the 6000 series. All right. What is the main advantage of having 240 hertz? Um, it comes to motion. When you're watching sports, when you're watching fast action with movies, uh, things like that, your motion is just going to be smoother. Things are going to look more realistic. But the frame rate is always 30. Correct. So why do you need 240? Uh, the TV is actually doing processing in it, creating extra frames digitally, um, and adding in. Adding in where it sees fit. So if there was a 240 uh, hertz video file playing back somehow, and if HDMI could support that, it, it would actually show the whole 240 frame per second. Yeah, that's just not possible at the moment. Yeah. 